Hey YouTube, so today I've got a video for you about helmet damage. Earlier this week on Monday, I went for a ride with my brother and I was climbing up a bank and went over the side of a plowed out ice road. Uh, the snow was very deep here. I went off the edge of the road, head first into the, into the plowed I went over the bank, I couldn't stop. I wasn't even going that fast. Five foot drop, I gassed it, but I basically, I, it nosed in, I flew off the machine and landed on my head, onto this hard surface of the ice road. And man, my head, hit, I've never, I can't remember ever hitting my head that hard in, since I've been riding um, since 1985. So, to inspect your helmet, take your, you need to look at the EPS liner. So what I've done is, this is your, um, the foam pads. These unsnap. It's pretty easy to take out. The cheek pads come out. So, I've watched a lot of videos and um, been doing a lot of reading. One of these you want to check is the date. So my date is uh, ju uh, it's June of uh, 17. I actually went and, went and looked when I bought the helmet. And I actually got this helmet in uh, 18. So it's really not that old. But so the, one of the issues is they were showing with the Arai helmets uh, in some of the videos. Is they're painted black and you'll actually see all the cracks. Well, this is gray and I don't see any cracks. Trying to show in a video. Now there's there's this line here, and then there's a line here. Can you see that? See that line there? And I wasn't really sure if that was maybe from manufacturing, and I'm still not sure if it's from manufacturing, or is that? Uh, here's the other. Here it is here. Or is that an indication that the liner's damaged? If somebody knows more, or hopefully somebody knows more than me, can let me know. Now look right here. See it? So what they say is to press on it with your fingers and see, you know, how, how it feels. And so my helmet, I came down on my left shoulder. So I think most of the impact's going to be here. So impact on this side. And this is what's crazy. The visor didn't break off. I don't see any cracks in the shell. And then when I put the helmet on, it it's, fits. It's not loose on my head. You got your normal wear and tear on it, but... You know, there, uh, outwardly, there's really no indication that the helmet was damaged. Trying to get this and I've got the camera set up. It's a little challenging. But basically, so we're going to check. Oh. So we're going to check the EPS liner to see if it feels soft. Yeah, you know, I just don't see any. I've, I've wrecked before with a helmet. I went face first into the gravel and I looped out a dirt bike and I lent and it cracked the chin bar. It was a Belmoto 4 back in the 80s. I loved that helmet, and I had to throw it away. Kind of wish I would just kept it just to hang it. So, you know, what they guys will say, they'll cut these straps off. And then just, uh, I don't know, been a good reminder to ride under control, I guess. Anyway. So, what we'll do here is check the liner. See, my, my finger's actually sinking in right there. If I go to other parts of the helmet, like back here where it wasn't damaged, where there was no, where I didn't impact, it's stiff. I mean, it's not, my finger isn't sinking in. But up here, where my head, where it took the hit, it's, it's soft. So 
so it's a feel it's uh basically you have to feel for it hopefully this will help you guys out um you know you, you can't take the shell off the helmet to look to look at the liner you'll destroy the helmet from what i've been reading is you know the helmets are pretty they're flexible and you could actually crush the the line well the, you, you've got your head in here that's crushing the liner and it can actually um crush this way too where you can't see it Okay, now I'll show you uh, something else I noticed. This side here seems like it's flexing in a lot more than this side. So I think there's something going on over here too. Another thing you want to look at when you buy your helmets, I've learned, so you got DOT, which I, you know, that's never been a great rating. Um, I remember my dad telling me, it was back in the 80s, like, yeah, DOT just says, yep, it's a helmet, you know, and they've, uh, they've actually updated it to this uh, FMVSS number 218. That's a revised standard. It's a little... Basically, the, the helmet manufacturers self-regulate, and uh, anyway, the, the DOT standard doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. This is the latest one. You've got this ECE R22-05. This is really taking the place of Snell. I grew up, you wanted the Snell rating. Well, this, this is the uh, updated version, so European one, and... Uh, it takes more into account for uh, off-road riding. The Snell rating is more for race cars where you're going to hit your helmet against a roll cage the way they do their test. And from my research, this is the better rating to have. Then there's also now an FIM rating that uh, whatever race series that is, but it doesn't, I think those helmets are uh, less common and super, uh, and they're far more expensive. But anyway... I mean, this this uh, this rating really saved me. So I ended up getting a concussion out of this, and uh, head injuries are no joke. I've never, like I say, I've never hit my head that hard before riding, and uh, I get tired now. Um, so I'm recovering, and uh, basically, if I do too much, um, you know, like yesterday, I had to converse with a ton of people. You know, you, I do a lot of, you know, if your job where you're doing, having to do a lot of thinking, a lot of uh, analyzing stuff, um, I get I get tired. So, anyway, yeah. Oh, so the scary thing about this is, generally I always wear a helmet when I'm riding, but. Um, There have been times when I'm just going out, like putting around or maybe go cut brush or something, and I don't wear a helmet. And this accident could have easily happened to me on a VK. And, boy, that machine's even heavier. Boy, anyway, um, I just, I, I, it scares me to think what would have happened had I, had I uh, had that wreck without wearing a helmet. I'm not convinced I wouldn't have uh, died or be in a coma right now, so... Anyway, make sure you wear your helmets. I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Um, I just didn't find a whole lot out there to, 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 uh, that showed how to actually inspect your helmet. So hopefully this is helpful. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.